Time to warm up, Jenny. Me, 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 me. If anyone is still watching, this is What's Up Disney Plus, where we talk all things Disney Plus. Yes, if you're a Disney music fan, this episode is no joke. Today we are talking with Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez, the songwriters behind Frozen and Frozen 2. We'll be checking in with Dee Capella, and we'll be discussing some of Disney's 2021 award-nominated tunes. The music is in us today, Andre. Let's get started. Andre, since we're entering award season, we have to talk about the most iconic nominated Disney singles. What were some of your favorites? Well, you gotta talk about Frozen 2. Frozen gave us so much good music, and so in the second one, we got even more. The whole soundtrack was nominated, as well as the song Into the Unknown, which is a great song for Elsa. I really loved it, even though I'm personally a fan of Lost in the Woods because I love my 80s ballads, but that song for Elsa was just so great. In addition to Frozen 2, Onward also had a song get nominated, Carry Me With You, and it's such a fun movie with some great emotional moments, so it's good to have a song like that be a part of it and also get that nomination. It gave me many a goosebump. <laughs> you know what also gives me goosebumps? Anything by John Williams. Yes, or Johnny Williams as Pete Dr. Call him. <laughs> John Williams is really good. I mean, he always brings it with Star Wars and definitely brought it again with The Rise of Skywalker. Definitely get you in the mood of the movie. And you know, just like John Williams where you don't need to say anything other than his name. Yeah. Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce's gotta take it that next level. It's one thing to get a song or a soundtrack nominated. She got an entire film nominated with Black is King, which totally makes sense, because not only do you get this great music that was inspired by The Lion King, of course, with that Beyonce flair, but then you also get this movie that's a mix of Lion King inspiration, Beyonce inspiration, brand new elements, cameo appearances, representation and oh culture just all mixed together into one visually stunning film. I mean, there was Hamilton and Clouds. We had Soul, we had High School Musical, the musical, the series, and Holiday Special. We had Taylor Swift with Folklore, the Long Pond Studio Sessions. There was a lot of music going on on Disney Plus and definitely a lot more to come this year, I'm sure. Now, without further ado, please enjoy this exclusive performance by our friends Dee Capella, brought to you by GEICO. For bundling made easy, go to GEICO.com. Tell us all about their talents. Please welcome Antonio Fernandez and Morgan Keene from D Capella. What's up, guys? Hey. Okay, so for people who may be discovering D Capella for the first time, tell us what the group is all about. Well, we sing all Disney music with 100% only our voices. In our own D Capella Disney fashion, we'll sing some of your favorites from way back from Three Little Pigs all the way up to Frozen 2, Moana, all the Disney stuff in between. Tell us what it's like to be a part of De Capella. It's a dream. It has been such a wild ride to be with these amazing, talented uh, people. Yeah, it's been so fun. And the project has been constantly changing since the conception. 
So it's been really, really cool to be along on the ride. Okay, so tell us who's who in the group and everyone's role. I'm Morgan, I'm the soprano. I sing the highest out of all the girls. Kaylin, who's the mezzo-soprano, she's kind of in between the soprano and the alto. Kelly, who is our alto, so she sings all the lower notes out of all of the girls. RJ, he's the tenor, he sings all the fun high stuff. Orlando, who is the baritone, so he's kind of in the middle. Joe, who's the bass, so he sings all of the nice, low, beautiful notes. Antonio, who is the vocal percussionist of the group, he does all the really cool sounds, and I'm sure you would love to show you a little bit right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So cool, I was not <laughs> expecting that. Yes. You don't get many intros that end with a musical <laughs> performance, so that was great. That sounded so real, like you had a drum set in your mouth. <laughs> what has been your favorite performance so far? Not necessarily like performance, but I do have a favorite song that we do get to perform, and that is the Just Around the River Bend Colors of the Wind medley. I love Pocahontas, I always have. Those are two of my favorite songs. I definitely loved when we were in Japan and we sang Beauty and the Beast, and just singing Beauty and the Beast in Japanese and seeing our Japanese audience there was so moving. It was just one of those times where you, you don't worry that you're performing at all. You're just connecting with the audience and it's such a beautiful energy. That was a, a beautiful moment for me. Who are some of your biggest Disney musical inspirations? Oh my gosh. It was definitely the music from Toy Story, from uh, The Lion King, the Disney story and so many lyrics, go the distance, how far I'll go, has this just saturated story that's about persistence and to be able to live through that with Di Capella is such an honor. Well, Antonio and Morgan, thank you so much for being here and talking with us today. Yes, and thank you so much for that incredible musical performance. Thank you so much for having us. This Justin Andre, fresh off the press, I'm getting real-time reports of what's new. On March 5th, join Raya on her quest to find the last dragon. See Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon in theaters or order it on Disney Plus with Premier Access on March 5th. Learn more at Disney.com slash Raya. It's nearly showtime for February. Next month, stream new episodes of Marvel Studios' WandaVision, all five seasons of The Muppet Show, and the original movie Flora and Ulysses and more. This season, a new team will fly together. The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers, and original series start streaming March 26th on Disney Plus. Now we are honored to be joined by the creative geniuses responsible for the original songs from Walt Disney Animation Studios, Frozen and Frozen 2. A big Disney Plus welcome to our guests, Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. Hi guys. Hi. We absolutely loved seeing your creative process in Into the Unknown making Frozen 2. And so tell us a little bit more about how you two work together. Well, it always starts with story and character. Uh, it always making sure that we are thinking the same way about what the character is feeling, um, making sure that the character is in a moment that his or her feelings are so strong, she has to sing them instead of speak them. And also a decision, a moment where that emotion will turn into a decision that continues the story forward. Right, and takes it to a place where it can't ever turn back. And we, we do a lot of talking, finding um, phrases and musical phrases that might guide us. And then by the end of the discussion, which I usually uh, stop us from writing until we kind of have the song just on a notebook, and then we just put the song together. What was the biggest difference between writing music for Frozen versus Frozen 2? Writing the music for Frozen, we were actually still seeking the characters. We, we didn't know the personality of Elsa or Anna or Kristoff. Right, there was a draft where Elsa was a villain and um, we had to just erase that and start over. We had written a bunch of songs for those characters. But when we were doing Frozen 2, which is the sequel, the challenge, we thought we knew the characters, but we really had to bring them to a different place to give them something new to sing about. Because if we've done our job right for the first one, there's nothing left to sing about. The metaphor is, if you do your job right, it's like you squeezed all of the toothpaste out of the toothpaste tube. Knowing that we had to write a sequel meant we had to say, like, where is there still toothpaste? To... And for Frozen 2, the toothpaste was, is Elsa really where she belongs? Who is your favorite character to write songs for? 
and why? I guess for me, it's Elsa. I really, yeah. um, I enjoy kind of having an excuse to become uber feminine and <laughs> he does powerful and, <laughs> and uh, you know, self, self-evolving. I love writing for Kristoff. We, we didn't get to write for Kristoff very much in the first movie because he wasn't able to feel his feelings enough to really sing. But this time around, I loved writing an 80s ballad for that man who was just learning to be in touch with his own feelings. I really had a great time finding that right place between goofy and emotional. So Kristen and Bobby, you have created some iconic songs from both Frozen and Frozen 2, so we thought we would issue a little challenge. We're going to play a small snippet from one of the songs from Frozen or Frozen 2, and you have to guess what the song is based on that snippet. Are you game? Oh yeah. We love games. This is gonna be fun. All right, here we go. Here's the first track. That's the next right thing. Yeah! That is right. <laughs> that is the next right thing for Frozen 2. <laughs> next right thing. I yeah. thought this was gonna be a little easier because it was our stuff, but that, yeah. that was very short, okay. <laughs> Reindeers are better than reindeers are better than people. Wow, yep. People smell better than reindeers. Do you wanna build a snowman? Yeah, that's from the middle part. Yes. Do you wanna build a snowman? Ah, that's show, show yourself. yourself. Yes. Every inch of me is trembling. That was me, I was playing that. Oh, really nice! I really loved playing a lot of piano on Frozen 2. All right, let's see if you can guess this one. That's Some Things Never Change. Yeah, that was also That's me. That's you. Yeah. Some things never change. Yeah, that's um, for the first time in forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there it is. That's or enough cold done. Frozen heart, right yeah. There, frozen heart. Correct, yes. Very correct, yes. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can guess this one. That's into the unknown. <laughs> Come on, we gotta, yes. we gotta know yeah. that. <laughs> okay, last track, and I think you're gonna guess this one. Let it go. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I mean, congratulations, because you got all of them <laughs> yes, right. Way to go. You got all of them right. You know your songs. <laughs> Very awesome. We need not. Thank you. We need not sign off in shame. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank guys. You. That was so much this fun. This was really this fun. This was great. Use your ears and eyes to stream Frozen and Frozen 2 on Disney+. Plus. Well, Ginny, I think it's time to wrap this episode up on a high note. <laughs> Make sure to stream all of your favorites on Disney+, Plus, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm gonna go do some frozen karaoke in my living room. Can you show us a preview? Lost in the woods, north and south. <laughs> what was that? I think they got it.